Hey, what's up you guys? John from Old Running Farm here. Uh, thanks for joining us. In today's video, we are going to do some very scientific experiments. Yeah, yeah. To figure out what the best way is to pack eggs and ship them without having them break. shipping hatching eggs for like maybe a, a year a year about and uh, we've had some varying results so there was a lot of debate on the internet over oh, yeah. the best way to do it so we're going to do some scientific experimentation we're going to test as our control the way we usually do it yep and then john picked away and i picked away so we're going to show you three ways we're going to do some general post office abuse and we're going to see where it goes the best. Let's get to work. So, the one that I'm most interested to try is pool noodles. Uh, rumor has it that you cut here and make like a little... And then uh, bubble wrap the egg, put it in there, put this in the box. Good to go. Safety first. No egg carton on that one? No egg carton on this one. So my way, I'm going to take some pine shavings, an egg carton, and some bubble wrap. And I'm going to individually wrap the eggs and then put them in the carton, and then I think fill the carton with pine shavings, and then fill the box with pine shavings, and I think we'll be good to go. So I think it was Sky Girl Farm where we won a giveaway, and uh, I think her, she had like the little foam cutouts and pine shavings, and so that's sort of my base for comparison there. We're not spending any money on foam cutouts though, so here we go. And then what we usually do, the way that we typically is we have two different sizes of bubbles. We've got small bubbles and large bubbles. So typically what we do is we individually wrap every single egg in small bubbles and we put them in carton and then we wrap carton in large bubbles and we fill box with bubbles, paper towels. These, these are the boxes we use. These are uh, medium sized priority mail boxes. They cost $15 to ship, but they'll ship, you know, low flat rate anywhere in the country, low flat rate. What am I, an ad? They'll ship anywhere for $15.50 for this size. I'll show you what it is. You can fit two regular size egg cartons comfortably in this box, and they're insured up to 50 bucks. So if your eggs do arrive broken, uh, you can just file a claim with the post office. And as long as you provide pictures of your broken eggs, they'll give you 50 bucks back. So what it is and for the purpose of experimenting we're using store-bought eggs because we only have one variety of chickens they're laying right now and we're currently selling those eggs for twenty dollars a dozen and these were like a dollar a dozen so store-bought eggs yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna use these egg cartons and we're gonna do four eggs in each so that we can kind of fill in the middle space we think that'll give us an accurate representation without wasting a ton of eggs without wasting a ton of eggs because at the end, I think we are going to give this the serious stress test. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So I think the only thing, now that I'm thinking about this, yeah. is if they're in the center, that's going to give it like extra, it's not going to have as much mass, Yeah. but it's also like if it's in the, ex the center, there's going to be extra protection on the insides. Yeah, that's okay, it'll stick. I mean, we're going to... This, this, this would not be Mythbusters approved. We're going to beat the shit out of it more than the post office hopefully would. And we shouldn't label these boxes in any kind of way. So that way, we're like blindly treating them all as equal, you right. know? It's not like I'm taking yours and... Throwing an extra heart. You wouldn't do something like that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not really a concept. Now for the fun part? I think so. Let's get to work. Okay, so it's stress test time. I am on the roof of my house. What do you think this is, 15 feet? Sure. It's about 15 feet. And now I'm a disgruntled postal service worker. Wow. Okay. Hey, there's one. 
Oh my god, I slipped and fell. Hey Gary, catch this. Who's Gary? <laughs> Another disgruntled postal service worker. Why are you disgruntled? Because I work at the post office. Yes. Hey! Oops. <laughs> oh no! Whoa! Oh, I dropped it! You think you should sit on it? Ooh, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's open these up, see how it goes. Yeah, I think we're good. In case this is our first video that you're watching, we have alpacas. That's baby Felix. Okay. All right, so now it is time to open these boxes and see what survived. You want to register your bets down in the comment section below? So you got two without wow. that are looking all good. Two. We might have to do some more abuse. With bubble wrap. Well, we have a three story roof we could throw these off of. Well, shit. <laughs> Like packing these back up, throwing them off more roofs. Roofs. Okay, so there's one. But otherwise, I mean, generally speaking, I would say pool noodles are plausible. Is that Mythbusters? That well, is Mythbusters. Plausible. Up next is pine shavings. How are you feeling? I feel good. I can't believe how good pool noodles did. I was like, oh, if we if we open these boxes and all of the eggs are broken. Or all of the eggs are just fine. Yeah. Well, then we can abuse the shit out of them. Language. The shoot out of them. <laughs> the, the yolks out of them. <laughs> we'll just beat this part of the video. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so these are all good. All four pine shavings, good. And this is our control, so this is how we usually pack eggs. So boy, won't that be embarrassing. Yeah, it would be. But they all look fine. Okay. We're gonna have to, to get our abuse on. Cue the heavy metal rock music. So now will be a good time for a montage. Yeah. All right, what do you think? Do you think we've broken some eggs? Maybe. Should we go find out? We'll go find out. All right. Oh, sorry, did I miss you?
Pebbles, look at that one. Yeah. Express delivery. All right, so the real question is... Can we break an egg? Do we have any that are not broken? That's what I was going to say. Oh, really? Because if we don't have any broken now, it's like, what the hell is the post office doing that ever an egg would have broken? That is a great question. All right, we got the control first. None. <laughs> Nope. Ah, oh, we got some broken eggs! So this is the pine shaving box. This one did get extra abuse. But so we got two cracked eggs. And two okay eggs. Two okay eggs. But that's good information. That is good information. Cool noodles. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Got one that slipped out, but it's fine. S slipped out, so he wouldn't have been fine much longer. Right. That one's fine. I wonder if pool noodles and maybe pine shavings would be more, just so that they don't move. It's pretty good. Don't worry everyone, we have a secret weapon to break these eggs because I know that's why you guys came here. We'll be right back. good from this angle. Yeah. Pebbles is very excited. Well, so obviously the pool noodle ones died. What makes you say that? That would be amazing if the control ones lived. Mm. All, well, all four? Well, we'll see. Oh, those are not looking good. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, nothing can survive the tractor. All right, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Uh, I think we got some valuable information from this. Just, I think it's nice to know that our system of packing eggs is pretty uh, nice. Let's, I mean, so do we declare a winner or? Well, let's conclude that Pine Shavings was the loser. Yep, can conclude that. And. Uh, if you're going to go into the market of shipping eggs, I would say either pool noodles or bubbles would be fine. But since to do the pool noodles, you're going to need to buy bubbles anyway. Maybe just go bubbles. Well, it depends on cause so whether you can get pool noodles for cheap. Yeah, we paid five bucks for each of the... Well, I bought two pool noodles just in case that was like the overwhelming best way to do it. I was like, oh, better have a spare. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. We put out new videos on Mondays and Fridays. We go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure to stop by and say hello next time.